and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today is Tuesday, so you know what that means. No, it is not house rules. Boys, we got the Team of the Week card. So, typically, Team of the Week drops at around 1 or 2-ish. I forget sometimes because I'm usually not home at school at that time, so I'm never home for them. But we do get the special stream, or not a special stream, a regular Madden stream at about 10.30, which I will be watching in a few minutes, which reveals the rest of the players. So, I'll go over the players we know already. I'll show you the card. I'll show you the stats. I'll go over to the stream. I'll get you guys all the set pieces and the final limited time and the final card pieces and get that all out for you guys, hopefully by around like 10.55, 11 o'clock. Uh, a.m. Eastern time, so hopefully you guys were seeing all this pretty early. You're probably seeing this within the next like 35 minutes. But guys, so far the first one we saw was really good. This was this car was anticipated. I was watching football this weekend and I had, I knew this car was getting one. He was a show and he had an awesome day. Kind of unexpected after the way the season's been going for him, but pretty awesome that he got a card. Hopefully the set pieces are good because as you guys know, the set pieces on a on a, for no money spent come are great when it comes out of Team of the Week. Team of the Week drops amazing budget beast cards amazing piece cards and not to mention i'm pretty excited to see who this limited time and the other hero might be which i will know in about 13 minutes when i watch the stream guys but before we get into this video guys don't forget we are 70 subscribers away from 10,000 subscribers like i've been saying guys i could have never imagined we get to this point i really couldn't i always thought i'd be like at 1k by this point like from when i started guys i didn't even record all summer i literally took a four month break off of youtube during the summer i, I was like I've recorded consistently for like four or five months, guys. It's pretty crazy. Thank you guys anyways, though. So if you guys can make this a reality, everyone watching this video, smash that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up, boys, get this video to 200 likes, and comment down below what you guys think of this team of the week, guys. So let's, let me go head over to Twitter real quick to show you guys the first team of the week um, hero card. All right, guys, so the first one is Stephon Diggs, 91 overall wide receiver for the Minnesota Vikings. If anyone watched football this week, you know that Stephon Diggs went absolutely nuts this weekend. He went crazy. Diggs was all over the Eagles secondary burning them left and right all day i wish i said how many stats he had i'm pretty sure he had like he definitely had close to 200 yards and i know for a fact he had like three touchdowns two of them being like 60 yard touchdowns minimum maybe 40 he has like that routes tree specials looking wide receiver uh, archetype which is pretty cool let's see he's got 45 salary cap he can obviously power it up so if you wanted to dig you'll probably get an 89 stefan digs now pretty cheap so he's kind of like a, a well-rounded wide receiver. At least this well-rounded wide receiver has speed. He kind of looks like a Keenan Allen card or one of those type cards, but with speed. 88 speed's really good. 86 jumping's pretty good. 91 catching is good. 86 catching traffic could be a little bit better. 90 spec catch is really good. I wish his route running was better. I feel like a Stefan Dig card should have better route running with that athleticism. 88 short route running, 87 medium route running, 84 deep route running. So in my opinion, I think his route running should have been closer to 90s across the board, even if his catching went down a little bit, because that's kind of, I feel like that's how Diggs plays. He's very, like, finesse, very precise, very athletic, although his catching might not be the greatest. I still think that's kind of how he plays, but Stephon Diggs card looking pretty awesome so far. I really do enjoy this card. I don't know if I'll pick it up. Maybe I'll get a gameplay for you guys. I'll see what he's going for. I do like Stephon Diggs in real life, but again, as a raw, I haven't bought any wide receivers this year, as you guys know. I haven't really liked any of the wide receivers they really released. I've been very picky with them. I'm waiting. I know what I want with my team. I want Tyree Kill. I want a Randy Moss. And I'm waiting for all those cards to come out. And hopefully, eventually, they do. But for the time being, Stefan Diggs is a pretty awesome option. All you Vikings fans, congratulations. Now, let's go watch the stream and go head on over to see what we got as far as set pieces and the rest of the heroes. All right, guys. So, as you know, I like to run this through my Photoshop because clearly, when I do it through screenshots, my computer glitches out. I do not understand why it does that. But we got... Starting from the bottom, we got 77, strong safety, Brandon Wilson. These are the set pieces. He's got 88 speed, 88 excel at safety, which is actually really, really good, but that's kind of it for his stat-wise. Um, decent, decent probably budget card if you need speed at strong safety. Brandon Bolden, halfback, 83 speed, kind of unusable. Not going to go over that card too much. We got we got a lot to go over, by the way. Jer Jaron Brown, 84 speed, 85 excel, 82 spec catch. The card's decent, nothing special. Demarcus Walker, 80 right in end for the Broncos. Really no good stats besides an 80 tackle. Gonna pass on that one. Now we're at the 81. Eric Kendricks, he's got 79 speed, 84 excel, 70 strength, 77 tackle, 84 play rec. And that's kind of it. Too slow for my liking at middle linebacker. Robbie Anderson, actually probably gonna be a great budget beast. 88 speed, 80 jumping, 81 catching, 80 spec catch. Decent Ryan Anderson card right there. Then we got Tashawn Kip, uh, Gibson Jr. He's got 82 Excel, 80 Play Rec, 79 Speed, eh, 82 Zone, 67 Hit Power. The card's horrible. And then we got a brand new Kyler Murray. I'm actually going to zoom in for you guys right here. It's kind of going to be blurry because of how this works. Uh, Kyler Murray, 88 Speed, 
86 throw power, 84 throw on the run. And then all of his throwing accuracies are on the 70s besides his speed, throw power, and throw on the run. I guess if you just want an athletic Kyler Murray, you got him. If you guys are rookie premier Kyler Murray, you have him right there. Next for the 85s, you got Hunter Henry. Got a really good week. He had like 110 yards, two touchdowns. Or was it 110 yards, one touchdown? I don't really remember. He had He's an 80 speed. 82 catching, 80 catching uh, traffic, 82 spec catch, 80 run block. Going to be a great budget card for run blocking. Might actually pick him up as my um, tight end too, just to get that run blocking in with decent speed and catching. Not a bad idea at all. Do really like this card. He just came back off the IR too, so pretty awesome to see him get a card this quickly, in my personal opinion. Then next, we got Devin Bush, guys. This is huge. Okay, so if you guys did Devin Bush rookie premiere like I did, you're going to get this free 86 version. Now, if you compare him to Devin White, he has the same speed as Devin White, better acceleration similar hip power and then he's just a little behind on block shedding and tackle but he's going to be your user so as a user card i don't think block shedding really matters to me really what matters for users is hip power his speed and his excel in my opinion maybe his tackle but i'm going to be using everything so it comes down to agility and jumping if agility and jumping is the same if not the same if not similar i'm going to probably keep devin bush as my linebacker to user and i will then go and i will exchange devin white back and probably get myself like a Juju Smith-Schuster or something good out of those packs. I gotta really see, guys. But that could be awesome. Potentially, you guys could get rid of your Devin Whites, use Devin Bush for free as a your rookie premier card, and then go and exchange Devin White for a second card. So you pretty much get two good elite cards out of this instead of one, which you guys probably had prior, which will be pretty awesome, in my opinion. Next on the list, we got 87 Chris Carson. This card is disgusting, and not in a good way. 83 speed. I don't know what they were thinking. Come on. No one's going to use an 83 speed halfback at this point in Madden. There's gold with better speed than him. 84 Excel. Okay, fine. If you're going to give a Chris Carson card low speed, give him like 94 break tackle and 94 truck. And give him something crazy, right? Make him up. If he's a power back, his catching sucks. His agility sucks. His looseness sucks. He's like a running rock. And not a good rock. Not a big rock. A small rock. 5 foot 11. No Excel. No speed. Bad trucking. Decent break tackle. He's pretty much a rock that won't fumble. That's about it. Next, we got James Bradbury, cornerback for the Panthers. I actually watched this game live in the morning when they were versing the Buccaneers. He got a pick right to start the game and another pick later in the game. 89 speed, 90 excel, 84 agility, 85 jumping. He's going to be one of the more athletic cornerbacks in the game. 81 play rec, 82 man, 80 zone, 83 press. This guy's kind of a beast. Would I use him on a, on a paid team or a really good no money spent team? No. But for teams that don't have many good cornerbacks, for a cheaper price, he'd probably be a really good athletic guy to put him in the slot. Cornerback three, nickel corner, be a really great blitzing cornerback, a really great coverage cornerback. He's not bad. Obviously not above 90 coverage stats, but he's, he's like a jack of all trades with athleticism. Really not a bad option for a cheaper price, in my opinion. Next on the list, we got Gerald McCoy. This was funny, so I was just on FaceTime with Xerxes watching this stream, and he literally says, if it's Gerald McCoy as one of the heroes, I'm going to be pissed. That card's going to suck. Literally half a second later, the guy says, and Gerald McCoy. I, I didn't even think that this guy would get one of them. I had another guy in mind, but it is what it is. He's got 67 speed. So that's really slow, but he's a defensive tackle. 81 Excel, 89, 89 strength is good, 91 tackle is good, 90 player X good. I just wish that his block shed was a 90. See, the further defensive tackle, you have to at least have your block shedding at a 90 for me, or at least have your power move at a 90. Something has to be a 90. And he can't pass rush too well. He's a decent run stuffer. He's just going to be a big clog, or a big cog, I should say. I don't really see him as a very useful card, in my personal opinion. I most likely won't be uh, using him at all, to be quite honest with you guys. And then last in list, guys, limited time, Matt Ryan, quarterback for the Atlanta Falcons, guys. He's actually really, really good. Six foot four. His salary cap is 50, which you guys know what that means. He's got that commander army looking general hat. LTD card. He had 356 yards, four touchdowns. This card has really great passing stats. Kind of looks like Matt Ryan. He kind of looks like Andrew Luck without speed, though. But still insane. We got a brand new Matt Ryan card. I we kind of saw this all coming. If I wish Kyler Murray would have thrown for one more touchdown, he would have he probably he had a probably a good chance of getting this card. 70 speed, 87 throw power, 93 throw accuracy short, 93, 90 throw accuracy mid, 88 throw accuracy deep, 93 throw under pressure, 88 throw on the run, 92 play action. Chemmed up and powered up. This guy will have above he'll have like a 95 throw short, 91 throw mid, a 90 throw deep, a 95 throw under pressure, 90 throw on the run, 94 uh, play action. He'll probably have close to a 90 throw power and like a 71 speed. This card's going to be an accurate as hell passer. One of the best passers in the game. He'll probably be like Kurt Warner-esque, Andrew Luckish without speed. 
This card is not bad at all, guys. And I was heading over to the Madden screen to finish out this video. All right, guys. So that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, boys. Get this video to 200 likes. Remember, we're 70 subscribers or less away from 10K, boys. Let's make it happen in this video or some video today. Everyone watching, smash that sub button. You won't regret it. Come join the family. There's 70 spots left in the Poodle Gang before we get to 10K. And then we got to keep grinding for our next goal, guys. But that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video today. I got two more for you guys. I got some overpowered players and I got some. Uh, no money spent. I just recorded that actually. I'm gonna go edit them up, finish them all up for you guys, have them all for you guys in a timely order. I do have school today, so that's why I get these videos done really, really early. Hope you guys enjoy this team of the week. These will be dropping at around like one to two ish, so stay tuned for that, guys. But that is about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. Stay tuned for that special stream Thursday. And make sure to hit that subscribe button, boys. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.